Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So this is not going to be a build video, more of an update. So if that's not your cup of tea, you can run away now. I'm doing this because I've been in this house and this workshop for three years now. I've really been enjoying Rag and Bone Brown's vlogs, so I'm blatantly just ripping him off with this. So please don't tell him. I live in County Durham in the northeast of England about 10 miles south of Durham itself, which is a lovely historic town with a cathedral and a university. And I was there a few weeks ago to get a jab before heading south to Hertfordshire, where I grew up. Where I grew up, it was right on the Grand Union Canal. And as a kid, I was fascinated by the barges. I'm not sure about living on a boat that really interested me and the freedom that gave, more the quirky living spaces. And that's what got me into shepherd's huts. But that's kind of getting a bit ahead of myself. So as you might have worked out, I'm not a trained woodworker, but I am a trained chef and I ran a pub for a few years, but that didn't really work out. So after that, I moved to Hampshire where my mum was running a pub and I commandeered one of the outbuildings and turned it into my first workshop. And if you've been following this channel for a while, you probably recognize it. And that is where I started doing the shepherd's huts. I built four when I was there and really enjoyed doing them. But my mum was retiring, so I had to be out of that workshop. I'd saved up some money, but couldn't afford half or Hampshire prices. So that's how I ended up here. And I built this workshop kind of in the style of a shepherd's hut. And I think that brings us sort of up to date. But I just go back to what I was doing in Hertfordshire. I saw family there. And then my mum had bought a new house in Northamptonshire, so I went up there. Well, I say new, it's about 200 years old and they had lots of jobs for me to do. So my mum's got this new house in Northamptonshire and she said, come down and stay for a couple of days. Stop work, put your feet up. Well, I knew it wouldn't work out like that. There's lots of jobs to be done. And the first one is this kitchen worktop. It's wooden and needs sanding down and refinishing. But I'm away from the workshop, I have no tools. They've got quite a good household tool kit, but I need a sander. And it just so happened that this company, Jealous, reached out to me and said, do I want to try one of their sanders? So as I was in need of one, I said, yes, please. It's a 125 mil sander with a two mil orbit and it comes with the discs. So I didn't have to buy anything else. And it also has a dust bag, which is great as I don't have an extractor with me. So it has everything I need and I can get to work. So the other jobs that need doing is a couple of tables. There's this one that's a really dated, horrible yellow varnish on it, but the unfinished underside actually looks quite nice. So I think some sanding down and then finished with the same worktop oil so it matches the countertops. So getting sent this sander has been great and it's allowed me to do the kitchen worktops, the dining table and that kitchen table. And I'm gonna leave it at my mum's so I've got it here for any future projects. So if you're in the market for a budget sander, I'll put a link down below to their Amazon link. So with the kitchen table, we painted the legs with a furniture paint, which is just an off-white creamy color that I got from B&Q. Now previously, I hadn't really enjoyed using chalk paint and I actually have sanded it down and redone it in a normal paint, but this stuff worked much better. Then we went to do the dining room and we used this French chic paint, which was a bit more expensive, but that was even better results. So now I'm kind of a convert to the chalk paints and I think I'm gonna use them again. So as you can see, that turned into a bit of a working holiday, but I enjoyed it and it was great to see family after quite a long time. So I think there's gonna be quite a few projects associated with that house. 
Certainly something they need in the kitchen is they've got an old fireplace that needs some storage built into it. So I think that's gonna be an upcoming project. So I thought I'd talk about some new tools I've got. I'm gonna start with these, some Helberg ear defenders. Now I've had these a while, but I get a lot of comments about them because people wonder why I'm wearing them while I'm doing quiet jobs like painting. Well, people, they're Bluetooth and I like to listen to the radio or podcasts while I work. So I've had cheap ones in the past and they've been rubbish. These are a little bit more expensive, but they're really good. So there'll be a link on my Amazon affiliate page down below. Now let's head out to the garage and I'll show you what I've got in there and what's becoming increasingly a bit of a problem. Oh, it's horrible out there, but welcome to the garage and where all my junk is. So in here is my bandsaw I restored last year and a lot of other junk or precious things, depending on how you look at it. So the Metabo table saw in there covered in junk. This I think might be my next project is a Meddings pillar drill, bench top one, incredibly heavy. Now over here, we've got a start right table saw and another start for a table saw. So I've got four table saws. Yes, I know it's a problem. And then, talking of start right, we've got a floor standing pillar drill. All of which I have no use for. Oh, behind me is also the plano I did as well. Uh, no use for any of these because I've got them all in the workshop, but I wanted them all. So I've sort of created a bit of a problem for myself. I've got these machines and all these other ones to work on, but I've got no room to work anymore. So I think I'm gonna to have to start getting rid of some of the ones I've already done and done videos about. So I think I'll announce when I'm selling them on eBay or something on Instagram, so you can check out there, uh, link down below if you wanna follow me, or if you're interested in anything, you can drop me a message. So I thought if I do this update again in a few months, I might do a Q and A. So Add all your questions in the comments down below and I'll write them down. As long as they're nothing too rude or personal, I might well answer them. But I'll start with one I get all the time and that's about this workshop. If I was to build it again, would I do anything differently? Well, probably not. I'm really happy with it. The only thing is, and this is probably true for a lot of us in a lot of things in life, I wish it was twice as big. But the trouble is I don't wanna stay in this house all the time. I want to move on at some point and I didn't want to build a workshop that took up half the garden because that might not be to everyone's taste as this sits at the bottom of the garden and I think will add value to the property as it can be used for multiple different things. But next time, put your questions down and I will try and get to them. So that's it for now. Thank you to my patrons for all their support and if you'd like to join them, there's a link down below. As I say, there's also a link to the Tools I Use page, which is affiliate links, so any clicks on those is much appreciated. So thank you everyone, and I'll see you next week.